I've been through a lot recently. I was hit by a car, lost my agent, and no one was interested in booking me. I lost some friends, and I beat myself up a little bit. I made some mistakes, and I couldn't go back. But I didn't want this to be the end. I wanted this to be the beginning. I've heard it all so much before, that you can turn a new leaf, just look towards the future, don't worry about your past. But this was the first time I actually had to really put it into practice, and I didn't really know how to do it. So I just started going to the gym again, started taking care of myself, and then I started practicing things I've never really done before, like meditation, affirmations, journaling. I've chosen to make changes. I decided that through this obstacle, I was gonna find an opportunity to grow. I had to push through pain, both mentally and physically, but I knew it was worth it. Even if other people didn't see the changes in me, I started seeing them in myself, and that was enough to keep going. Everyone I looked up to had done it, so I knew I could do it too. Why couldn't I? Meditating really helped me listen to myself, and trust myself, and forgive myself. I knew in order to change, I had to let go. As hard as it is, sometimes you just have to do that. But at the end of that, behind all of that, past the fear and old friendships and things that don't serve you anymore, I promise you'll find a better light. I think the most important thing I've learned through this healing process, it's not just about the scar or the physical healing outside. The main importance was the healing I had to do internally how I saw myself, what I thought about myself, and if I was okay with myself. And that was the most important thing that I could have done for me. I've never seen a strong person with an easy past. It's at times like this that we rediscover, redefine, and reconnect with our true selves. When we lose our dependence on our external abilities, our external characteristics, our external skills, and all of the things that we've relied on, it's at that point that we're able to start living from the inside out rather than from the outside in. When we start living from the inside out, that allows us to explore and amplify a whole new level of confidence, self-esteem, and self-awareness. A space from which we can own our strengths, a space from which we can accept our flaws, and a space from which we can always try to improve. We're confident about what's on the outside, not realizing that what's on the inside is infinitely more powerful. As C.S. Lewis said, you don't have a soul, you are the soul, and you have a body. When we recognize that we're eternal, timeless, full of knowledge, and full of bliss, and live from that space, we're able to illuminate the whole world. The happier you are, the more beautiful you become. The true sign of a beautiful person is that they always see beauty in others, and always see beauty around.